Question. A 58-year-old male with a history of hypertension and type 2 diabetes presents with shortness of breath, swelling in the legs, and a productive cough. His vital signs are as follows. BP-168 over 92 millimeters of mercury. Heart rate 112 BPM. Respiratory rate 22 breaths per minute. Oxygen saturation 88% and temperature 99.1 degrees, Fahrenheit 37.3 degrees Celsius. An ECG shows sinus tachycardia, and the patient has a chest X-ray revealing pulmonary edema. The physician diagnoses acute heart failure. What is the priority nursing intervention? A. Administer a diuretic as prescribed. B. Provide supplemental oxygen therapy. C. Administer a beta blocker as prescribed. D. Assess for signs of peripheral edema and skin breakdown. Answer. B. Provide supplemental oxygen therapy. Rationale. The patient's oxygen saturation is low at 88%, which indicates impaired oxygenation. Providing supplemental oxygen therapy is the priority to prevent hypoxia and stabilize the patient. A. While diuretics are essential in heart failure management, oxygen administration should be prioritized due to hypoxia. C. Beta blockers are used for heart failure management but are not immediately necessary in the acute setting where oxygenation is the priority. D. Assessing for edema and skin breakdown is important but not the immediate concern in this acute situation.